All right, boys. Everybody, very calmly, tell me hello. Because we're going to try this again. We have seven games to get through. And I have a good feeling about today. Star helped me work with a lot of settings. And worst case, Star, I will stream through him <laughs> if this does not go well. I'm thinking based on the two test streams that I did, as well as currently no issues reported in Streamlabs, we're looking to be okay. So we'll see how that goes. You will not be calm. Come on, guys, be calm. Everybody be calm. I also changed the stream delay a little bit. It's a little bit less now. We have 10 viewers, by the way, guys. If you guys have not already, be sure to leave a like on the video. It really helps us out a ton. I think I think we're gonna be okay. I turned the bit rate to dynamic. That might be the key. So the stream might be a little worse quality at, at times because our Wi-Fi is dog ass. But if that's the case, if the stream works, that's the price we have to pay, right? So if there are any problems, let me know immediately. Just let me know if the, the quality goes to shit. Like I'm talking 144p shit, like below 720p. Let me know. I think otherwise we're all very calm. We think we think we're okay. We think we're okay. So we have seven games so far today. Once again, I am not going to do Aurora's immediately off the bat because yesterday they asked me to hold off a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, also, somebody rung my doorbell, I guess, as soon as I started streaming. My girlfriend is letting me know. So, um, yeah, dude, I got a problem. Yo, Star, we might have to play some Omega Strikers today. I had a lot of fun yesterday. That's not important, though. We'll, we'll go ahead and get in here. So, this is, I believe, let me see. I think this is the game that I tried to do yesterday. Who is it? Nobody's there? Lock it then. Who cares? Okay. I think I think it's working so far. Jer Jerica is dancing, boys. I don't know. It's probably just somebody asking to mow our yard. Oh, it was Star. That makes sense. It was Star. Yeah. So that makes sense. Okay. Oh, Aurora's here today. So actually, okay, we'll start with your game first, Aurora. Everybody, again, everybody, very calm because if anybody messes anything up. I'm looking at you, Star. The stream will crash. Jerica has her hand on the router right now. Boys, I am not making this up. Code Red. If she unplugs the router, there's nothing I can do. So we'll start with Aurora's game because Aurora requested it. I believe you also sent me the paste. Aurora, let's see here. You did, You sent me both pastes, in fact. Thank you. We'll load this up. So uh, let me see this one. Yes, and we'll be on Aurora's side because Aurora, Aurora requested it. Again, no problem so far. We're 10 minutes deep, so I think. So hopefully no frames dropped so far. Dynamic bitrate hopefully is the key. We see Aurora's team, they have a, a Draco protected Roost Neuvern. I'm assuming protect for the first impression from the Slitherwing, because that can get a little bit out of hand. AV Tinkaton for attack, obviously. Fake out knockout flavor of Gigaton, and that looks like it is for the Iron Jugs, probably. Uh, a Life Orb Spectre, which destroys, oh, an agility Life Orb Spectre, very cool. I do like that. We have Lilligan Hisui, who's Victory Dance Widelands. It's always so funny seeing Widelands ran. I understand it. Hey, Jay Ricky, life's going pretty well as long as the stream holds up. We have to all be very calm and very cautious. Uh, Lilligan has Victory Dance, Close Combat, Leaf Blade, and Ice Spinner. We have a Bomb of Snow, Blizzard, Aurora Veil, Giga Drain, and Leech Seed, and then a Shooka Berry, pretty standard, Gloaking it. And then on the other side, we have the Gardevoir, who's going to be Scarf, a Boots, Rotom. We have a Leftovers, a bulky Slither Wing, fully physically defensive, which is pretty cool. Uh, Guard Chomp is going to be Earthquake, Earth Power, Spikes, and Draco. I, I'm wondering why we're... Uh, we're both Earthquake and Earth Power. We have, and then we have Scarf last two slots. So, looking at this matchup, I'm looking at the initial win cons and how I think this match is going to go. Spectre goes crazy. Obviously, when there is no normal type, Spectre is going to do very, very well. Uh, we do have to keep certain mods in check, and Agility is going to push past the fact that these two Pokemon are Scarf, which is really nice. We do have to watch out for First Impression, but I don't even think we have... We don't even have First Impression. So I, I think a potential Neuven need makes a lot of sense. It also has Defog to keep potential Spikes away. I, I think this is going to be a good one. So we're going to hop in here. We're going to see Jugs and Spectre Elite. Oh, I'm actually shocked to see the uh, the Spectre Elite since that was the win con. 
Um, 88 is much better than 80. I want to be as reliable as possible. Dropping hustle is sad. That's very fair. Yo, what's going on, Mr. Shima? How's everybody doing today, by the way? How's everybody doing? We are very, very calm. So the stream does not crash. But yeah, I'm very shocked to see the uh the the spectral lead but we do go tinker ton which should wall this until the end of time i mean it gets earth power but it's scarf so we knock off the boots which is going to be crucial i don't think we actually have rocks from the team so actually i don't know how much that matters but we see slow king obviously coming on the rotom hex is going to do a significant amount of damage and we're going to go ahead and future sight and hard into the noivern as a very nice bolt switch comes off here that's got to be offensive rotom based on that damage i would assume my teammates are goaded starf this dude doesn't know what he's talking about this dude's over here playing Omega Strikers. Yo, by the way, guys, if you have not already, be sure to leave a like on the stream. We are currently at seven likes. We have double digit viewers. We can most certainly, we have eight likes. We can most certainly get to 10 likes. Um, you don't know if you'll join OG Albino's Draft League. It's basically a copy paste of the JJDL just with less divisions because he's trying to be me. I can't really blame him. It makes a lot of sense. He saw the success that I have and he wants to bite off me. I mean, that's how it's been his whole life. I understand. It's tough to uh, to mimic me successfully, but he's probably the closest carbon copy of me. So, uh, you know, you can join it if you want to. But we see the Noivern come in and then the, the uh, Gardevoir on the Volt switch. We're going to see Tink come in. Tinkaton is very good in this matchup. Um, special attack drop doesn't really matter you're gonna see the future site come off probably a gigaton come out just for big damage a double into lilligant and that actually kills the rotom that did a lot more damage than i anticipated so the ring's gonna come in and obviously the noivern is a great pivot into this as a will-o-wisp is gonna come off and we are gonna be terra bug um i'm actually very shocked to see terra bug whenever we don't have first impression um wait you have had one this this league right now this league right now that i'm watching these are my community league games if you can't beat him, copy him, and that is that is true. That is 100% true. Uh, we see Gardevoir come back in on the Neuvern, and we're going to see a Roost come off from the Neuvern. Um, Slow King's going to come in. Slow King, obviously, a very good pivot into Gardevoir, and I think this was Scarf. So uh, if at any point he wants to, now that he knows the Glow King or the Tinkaton is probably the switch into the Gardevoir, I feel like next time he can go for a trick, right? Uh, in comes the Garchomp as we do see a Slack Off come off. Uh, I probably would have ref preferred to see a Chili Reception there just because of the Regenerator, but I understand wanting to be as full as possible. Abomasu is going to come in on the Garchomp and we see Spikes come up. No problem. And we're going to see Aurora Veil as the Glow King comes in. I'm actually shocked to see the Glow King on the Slither Ring instead of the Neuvern. Another Willow doesn't matter. It misses whatever. Uh, Leech Life is going to come out. It does a decent a decent amount there as we get a big future side off we're gonna see the u-turn do we see chili reception we see slack off okay uh jugs is gonna come in and we should just go oh, oh that crit definitely sucks i i'm not sure why we didn't go into uh into tinkaton maybe fearing the u-turn um the slack off was my biggest display yeah i feel like it should have been uh it should have been chili reception but that's okay uh oh yeah copycat it doesn't affect john jr hi john how are you how are you doing armenia how is everybody doing today um, but yeah, that that definitely was a little bit unfortunate. We're gonna see Glow King go down there. Obviously, Future Sight's not gonna affect it. Tinkaton's gonna come in now. <laughs> and you said I'm in deep pain in the chat. Uh, out comes Slithering. Uh, by the way, let me know if the music is too loud, guys. Uh, U-turn comes out and does a de decent enough chunk to the Neuvern as we should see. Probably Tinkaton's getting very worn down here. Um, we are actually gonna protect to see what he wants to go for as we see the Shadow Ball come out on potential. Oh my gosh, Thriller. Thriller, I don't know where you get this money from, man. Thank you so much for the $100 donation. Oh my gosh. Dude. Thriller, Please I don't know how you consistently me. are able to donate to me the way that you do, but it's very, it's awesome. Thank you so much, man. Make me emotional. Make me emotional, Thriller. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody said thank you, Thriller, in the chat. And if you have a Chi and Pog emote, be sure to drop some Chi and Pogs for Thriller. I misclicked. I just opened up something that I definitely shouldn't have opened up. Hopefully, it doesn't show up on stream. <laughs> it has, like, my passwords and stuff in it. Yeah, there it goes. Everybody drop some Chi and Pogs for Thriller. Absolute legend. Dude, this dude single-handedly could keep a business afloat. It is actually unreal. Um... Chi and Pog indeed. But so we see Noiver go for the defug. The spike is gonna go away. Again, thank you so much, Thriller. Uh Abama Snow is gonna come out on the Shadow Ball. Uh we see U-turn come out on the Abama Snow. In comes the Gardevoir. 
Blizzard's gonna come out. Ooh, that takes two, actually. That's crazy. We're gonna sack the Neuvern now, which is fair, because it's very, very weakened. Should die. No, leftovers? No, we're not leftovers yet. Neuvern's gonna go down. In comes Spectrier. We're probably gonna agility. Mystical Fire is massive there. That's a great play, but we're actually just gonna go for the kill and go for the agility at a later date, which is completely fine. I'm not a member, so I can't... Yo, that's fine. That's fine, but... Mr. Shimo, did you know, while we're talking about memberships, for as low as 99 cents a month, you can help put money directly in my pocket. I'm very transparent about where the money goes. It goes directly back into the channel, helps pay me, helps let me pay Kurt to edit my videos potentially. Uh, if there are edited videos, it helps go to pay my newborn, which will be born any day now. And obviously it goes to help pay my bills. For as low as 99 cents a month, you can get all the cool emotes that you guys see in chat right now. So just something to think about. Absolutely no pressure, not required by any means, but it does help support me directly. <laughs> um, uh, and I should have. Yeah, I, I mean, agility there would have been a fine play because you would have got the uh, the Grim Nay, and you might have won the game outright, but I don't think you would have O-Code Garchomp from Fool without a boosting item, or without a, uh, not a boosting item, without a uh, a boost, a plus one boost. You might have. I'm not sure of the calcs off the top of my head, but yeah, agility was probably the best play there. Oh, no, we're going to take a Dark Pulse. No, we're going to Draining Kiss, though, do massive damage. We should probably pivot out now. Yeah, we do pivot out into the Tinkaton. Uh, you can take nothing from that. We could make a double here. We're gonna get Katon. We do massive damage to the Slitherwing. We're gonna go Lilligan now. Lilligan does not quite die. Lilligan should be able to pick up a KO here. Or damn near, as it almost takes out the guard shop. And now Spectre is in a prime position to potentially win the game. Um, no, not with double Scarfers. Double Scarfers are gonna make it kind of hard. I actually, let's think about this logically, right? We go Jugs here, in comes Tinkaton. If we have U-turn, we click it. Could also go Tauros. Actually, Tauros would very much so probably force a KO because of how low Obama Snow is. If I were your opponent, I would definitely go Tauros and Water Move. 100%. We're gonna go Jugs, though. In comes Tinkaton. Do we call it? We go for Dark Pulse. This should live. If, if I were you, I would probably make a double here, right? If I if I was able to. But you don't. You also don't know if he's Scarf. I don't, that, that's a tough play. You could play rough, I guess. We Gigaton. Ah, this is looking tough. A Bombus is going to come in. It should probably die to two. Ah, actually, it doesn't die to two wave crashes. Okay, I was very much underestimating or overestimating Tauros as we get a leech seed off on the Slither Wing. Uh, down goes a Bombus Snow. I'm not sure the Aurora Veil would have made too much of a difference. We're going to go for the last ditch effort with the uh, the agility, and it actually might pay off here. Oh no, he has Jet. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So we are going to go ahead and lose. No, good game. I, I definitely do think that I agree with you. The uh, the, the, the play was chilly reception. Back it back a little bit, but... I mean, yeah, John, and I go way back for you, my OG and Kurt and everybody. And him and Oboe with the OG friend group. Yeah. Yes, sir. Back in uh, when I first started drafting you. On the previous day, and I risked him not being Scarf. Oh, did you not know if he was Scarf yet? Guaranteed. Uh, my first only draft I was in, I saw two people with Cursula. Yeah, Cursula was, uh, was very very not utilized i feel like that's a pokemon i would like to try for sure he did have like three scarves he had a lot of scarfers but good game to you guys for sure uh and we'll go ahead and hop into this one because this is the one i started yesterday but i don't think i got very far i think it's i think it's uh flvm versus spider i think this left one is flvm if i do recall which i think i'm right i might be wrong but um basically it's can garganical get out of hand or um, it was can Garganical get out of hand or can Enamorous blow past this team? I think is initially what I said. So we will hop in here. Oh, Curse Lax, not, not Curse Love, my bad. Oh, that, never mind. Curse Lax is pretty good. Ignore what I said then. We're gonna see Lucario and Regieleki lead. In comes Yumta, which I'm very, I think I'm pretty sure FLVM keeps bringing this damn Wiggly Top and I don't know why. I have no idea why. I have no idea why. Um, so we'll go ahead and see, we see, uh, Ting Lu not afraid of this Pokemon at all. We're going to get a spike up and an earth. Dude, this is why, this is why we don't bring Wiggly Tough. 86% from a uh, Ting Lu earthquake. And Ting Lu is not weak, guys. Ting Lu is very powerful. We see an Enam switch on the booster brute bond. Unfortunately, it's probably going to waste booster. I think we have to go into slow King now. Yeah. Or slow bro. Excuse me. We have to go slow bro. Now Moonblast is going to come out here. Internet is indeed working. Star helped me with a bunch of settings and it's working now. So shout out to Star. I uh, like watching all the other matches. Don't like watching mine because I can't really do much with my team. 
No, that's that's absolutely fair. And thank you, thank you for the saying the content for the league is awesome. Uh, I do really enjoy streaming this for you guys. I think it helps build like a community. And I feel like a lot of you guys have been super active. And I like I've got to know a lot of you guys through this league. And otherwise, I wouldn't have if I didn't do this league. So I, I really enjoyed the experience of doing this with all of you guys. And also, I haven't talked to Star about it yet. I might give Star my stream key <laughs> the, the week that my baby is born and have him do that week of JJDL streams, mayhaps. Mayhaps, because I think Star is a, uh, a channel manager for my channel. So I think he could, he has access anyway, I think. But we'll see about that. Maybe the combination of Star and Oboe. I don't know. Uh, we see Tinglu coming on the slow bro and the double into Wigglytuff. Probably going to get up a, a last ditch wish and die. No, no. We're actually going to switch out because we live one more spike, but now we die. <laughs> Brute Bonnet is going to throw up a spore, which is going to be massive on the Dragonite. Garganical is going to come in. I don't remember if this is his Terra. As we see his Soul Cure, this is probably Covert Cloak. I could only imagine. Oh, it's not. It's Leftovers. Okay, I'm actually shocked by that. Down goes Wigglytuff. Let's get some 07s in chat for Wiggly Tough, which, by the way, I'm going to get a salute emote here soon. Slowbro comes in on the Enam. Ting Luke always comes in on this Pokemon as Body Press does a mean 26%. No, shout outs to Star for sure. Shout out to Star for sure. I almost cannot speak. We see Brute Bonnet come in as Ting Luke's going to Earthquake and do nothing to Brute Bonnet. Brute Bonnet is proving its worth here. Reggie Alex is going to come in. Unfortunately, Ting Luke's going to come right back in. We are going to get a spin off, though. Uh, is, is this Ting Luke leftovers? It actually is soft sand, so that's why it's doing so much damn damage. Uh, we're going to synthesis on the Dragonite, who has used its sleep turns essentially now. We're going to Soul Cure now, do massive damage to the Sloking you're throwing. What are you throwing, Star? Uh, this Slow King is not going to appreciate this Soul Cure. It's going to chilly reception out. In comes the Ting Lu. I think we Soul Cure again, right? Oh, we Iron Defense. Okay, this Pokemon can definitely get out of hand here. We Soul Cure now. This Residual on Ting Lu, now that we know it's not any type of recovery, is insanely massive. We're going to see a Soul Cure on the Hard GU. Very surprised to see the Hard GU. Dark Pulse is going to come out. Oh my goodness. Dark Pulse kills the GU. Dark Pulse, or the Garganical. Dark Pulse kills the Garganical, which is crazy. Wake's gonna come back out. Maybe a Sunny Day Wake? G Dragon Dance. Okay, we're gonna Dragon Dance. And how do we break? That does some That does some big damage. We're gonna see a Yawn come out. It's possible that we're, we're Lum, but we're not. We go into Brute Bonnet as the Dragonite comes in. Slowbro is gonna come in now. This Dragonite is gonna wake up and be a threat. We get a DD off. And I'm actually not sure what FLVM's best play is. Reggie Lucky should always outspeed a plus one. And we're obviously not Terra because Terra's banned. It's probably just breaking the uh, the multi scale if possible. If we live at Earthquake, which I would assume that we live one. Now I would assume Reggie Lucky outspeeds. We're gonna Ice Beam. Don't be weakness policy. If he's weakness policy, the game might be over. Okay, it's leftovers. Earthquake that definitely dies. We go Reggie Lucky. I'm not sure if it outspeeds. No, we actually go Wake. Wake dies. So Reggie Lucky might just not outspeed. That might just be over. Yeah, that is going to be over. So good game there. Dragonite was well positioned by Spider. Spider putting in the work there. Uh, and it's only got HP. We're taking a hit. Yeah, no. Wigglytuff takes so much more damage than you would expect. It has really good wishes, but it has no defenses. Like literally none. Literally none. Here we're going to see Bick and Mountain Man go at it. Now, I, I, I have a little insider scoop about Bick. So much like how my channel memberships are, if you have the uh, $10 membership, which I, I got to re-ping all of the Snom Junior and Snom Senior members, or Snom, maybe it's just Snom Senior. I have to ping them because you guys get a matchup. If you guys donate the $10 a month membership, you get the prep help matchup help i help you with a matchup and much like how we do that og albina tries to bite my style obviously he obviously also does that and big i know is a channel member for owen and he has that perk and i know big has been sweating some jjdl with owen in order to attempt to win or to get into playoffs because he's fighting for playoffs if i do recall so we'll see here if big ends up winning let me see let me see if he sent me the pace i think he messaged me something Uh, I'm not sure if this was last week or this week. Let's see. Week three. No, this is week three. So this isn't the right one. So, so basically, he's been getting OG Albina prep help, which how good is that? I don't know. And we'll see if he beats Mountain Man, who is Star's pick to win the entire JJDL. I believe Moltres Division, maybe Articuno Division. And he's in the chat right there. 
He's in the chat right there. Start go ahead and drop a Chien Pog for that man. Uh, but we'll go ahead and hop in here. So Diane Siegel, Dingo, Quoco Ball, Slowbro, Farigiraf, my goat. I love Farigiraf and Torrent Eye. If Mountain Man didn't have Fortress, he would be so goaded. Okay, when we see Enam, Electrode, Vaporeon, Great Tusk Fortress, and Gudra. So, looking at the initial matchups, Great Tusk, this is this is tough. Great Tusk doesn't do super well. I, Tornadoes can always revenge it, and Slowbro is a really good check to it. It's going to have trouble getting a rapid spin off. Goldingo could be Air Balloon. He could be a knockoff. Maybe his four attack knockoff set. Enamorous does very well. I'm very curious to see how big plays around Enamorous here. Uh, Articuno, my bad. Articuno. Electrode lead ends the game. Let's see. Let's see. No, Star says Electrode lead ends the e Electrode lead ends the game. So Electrode actually does do very well. We'll hop in here. We'll see if Star is right or not. Oh no! Oh no! Bick, no! We see a protect from the Whittle guy, and we're gonna see a Volt Switch come out. I'm curious if this is Specs or not. That's there's no way that's Specs. If Purion's gonna come in, we're gonna see a D Gleam that does no damage. Maybe maybe this mod isn't the truth. Maybe I'm wrong. I, we throw up a Wish, I assume. No, we throw up a Thunder Wave. Now we throw up a Wish. I assume. I assume we're gonna throw up a Wish. Nope, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. To, we might not be Wish. We might be last move like Future Sight or something. Surf on the Diancie. We're gonna value rocks heavily since he is gonna have a hard time removing them. Fortress can't really spin because Goldango is his great tusk has a hard time. Uh, we're gonna Diamond Storm. Do no damage to the Fortress. I assume we should double here into Goldango. No, he's actually gonna value spikes over his own spikes over spinning, which is awesome. Quackle Volt is gonna come in. Probably gonna get blasted by a Volt Switch here. Plus Rocky, yeah. Now our Coco Ball is almost dead. In comes Vaporeon. It might be worth close combating. It might be, yeah. It's worth close combating, letting letting this Pokemon go down. Um, that was probably Big's best win con once the Fortress got chipped. So I'm actually not sure what we do now. Uh, we might go Torn to revenge this. We do go Torn to revenge this. In comes Gudra. I actually, I, with these five Pokemon left, I'm not sure how big wins this game. I'll be honest. Long John Silver, big Long John Silver comes in. I don't know if you guys have ever eaten there. Don't. Uh, we're going to see Taunt come out on the, what was the, uh, the Vaporeon, I believe. And we're going to U-turn into the Slowbro. We're going to see a Thunder. And we're going to see a Crit Thunder. Wow, that uh, that certainly is one way to break through slow, bro. <laughs> In comes Whittle Guy on the Thunder again. We chew, but we get paralyzed. I assume we throw up a wish now if we have it. We do not because we get paralyzed. Electro's probably gonna claim a KO here. Maybe. I'm actually not sure on the rolls here. Not quite. We do see a wish. So now we have to get the protect off and we have to uh, PP stall the, the Electro Thunderbolts. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Electrode is smashing. Hard show to clean up the game. I, wait, 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 wait. Tailwind? I feel like Goldingo just lived one, no? And we are air balloon. We do plot. Crit? Oh, that's unfortunate. Shadow Ball, that should definitely kill Electrode. Electrode, you served Star well. Stirred Mart Mountain Man well. In comes the Enamorous. Enamorous is also going to go down. Goldingo should never just win this game because Great Tusk does guarantee outspeed. Uh, and then down goes the Goldingo. And I think the game's over because Slowbro was chipped severely. Down goes Diancy. Doesn't Sugar doesn't matter. Crit doesn't matter because um, we're booster attack. And then Slowbro probably goes down to a Mega Horn or even a Headlong Rush, I guess, man. Yeah, wow. Well played by Mountain Man. You, you served Star well. Tailwind lets you get the nasty. Electro the goat. Yeah, no. Electro proved uh, proved to be a beast here. Oh, oh, Mountain Man sent me his pace too. And I didn't even see it until now. Let me go ahead and read this off for uh, for his biggest fan star. We have me Hardy, the Enamorous. He was an E-Belt with three attack calm mind. Uh, the only three attacks that, that Pokemon gets. We have he was a Specs Electrode. Okay, Star. Star. Specs Electrode did 39% to Ferrigiraf. Specs Electrode is dog dick. We have the Salty Sea Dog, which is Surf Baton Pass, Wish, and Protect. We have the Booster Attack, uh, Headlong Rush, Close Combat, Megahorn, and Ice Spinner on the Great Tusk. I'm actually shocked to see no knockoff into the Golden Girl. Uh, we see Fortress, which is Earthquake, Volt Switch, Rapid Spin, and Spikes. And then, of course, Big Long John Silver, Heavy Slam, Draco, Thunder, and Flamethrower. So. Bro, you think this mod is the truth? It's got hella defense. I know, Farija Rap is the truth. Farija Rap is the truth. But I also don't think... I thought that I had more faith in Electrode, all right, man? Oh, boys.
next up, we have a big man matchup. We have, uh, and I have to go on the big man side because I love big man. I, I love big man. Yo, but while we're here, guys, we have four games left. We only have 12 likes. That's actually a pretty good amount of likes, but we have 15 viewers. So that means at least three of you guys, the likes went down. We have 11 likes. What the hell happened? That means four of you guys, well, it went back up. Thank you. Three of you guys watching right now have yet to like the stream. It helps push out and it helps grow the community. Push out what? Push out the stream. It helps push out the stream and grow the community. Uh, and obviously this community is awesome. I love interacting with all of you guys. I love seeing you guys interact. It's fantastic. And if you leave a like on the stream, that is the best way other than subscribing to the channel, which I assume all of you are, I'm going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. That is the best way to support the channel. And we're also only three subs. I just hit my mic. I'm sorry. We're also three subs away from 1800. So tell your friends, man, we are three subs away. And that would be amazing if we could hit that by the end of the stream. I took a gamble in my match. I was on the bench on Bramble Gas and no Bramble Gas because Mudsdale walled me in Mox. That's fair. Yeah, I personally am not a huge fan of lecture, but I can do things. It's me. I'll see my face after the battle. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, it's cocky. Uh, you said something to me the other day. Oh, ping you so I can send you the paste. Yep. Uh, big man, large boy. Everybody loves big man, guys. Also, for those of you who are channel members, I'm super, super considering a big man emote let me know what you guys think of that because i think a big man emote would be super cool we're currently two channel members away from being able to get 10 total emotes and if we do that i am going to purchase five new emotes i think that'll be awesome i really like the emotes that we have now and the fact that i'm able to stream now is awesome then a b famous what do you mean basketball i'm not, i'm not sure what you mean then oh then you be famous if i hit 1800 subs maybe i don't think so I wish, <laughs> I wish, um, but let's go ahead and hop in here. So Iron Treads, Rotomo, Big Man, Urshifu, I hope Rapid because it's paired with the Dragon Pult, Screamtail and Pult against Ting Lu, Volcanion, that's Terra Ting Lu if I recall, um, Meowsku, Radazur, Kasui, Grimstar, and Pamat. Also, I was thinking about it, Kaki, and I think Terra Ting Lu is a fucking beast. I think that mine is kind of the truth. So, looking at this matchup, initially, obviously, we actually have some good Dragapult counterplay. We have Grimstar and Ting Lu, so this is probably the worst Dragapult matchup that Lunar will see all season. Uh, Screamtail does walk quite a few Pokemon. It's actually very difficult for Screamtail to be broken, but at the same time, Ting Lu looks like it goes crazy depending on the Terra type that we are. So, I'm, I'm very curious to see how Kaki takes advantage of how well Ting Lu does in this matchup. So we'll go ahead and see here. Grimstar and big man lead. How will load? I, I I just I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to see something. I just want to see something. I just want to see something. I just want to see something, man. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Holy shit! That almost guaranteed a KO. Unless he was max spadef, and even then it was almost a forty percent chance to KO. Holy shit! That. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to get rid of big man if you don't have any hazard removal. <laughs> that was, that was, that was nice. I'm actually, I'm also shocked that we went into Screamtail instead of uh, Urshifu Rapid because Urshifu Rapid could have uh, Surging Strike there because you have to recharge, you can't switch out. Screamtail doesn't take advantage of that. So I, I call mine, unless we, no, I, I'm, I very much actually, I do disagree with the going Screamtail. I think you always want Urshifu there to kill. That is surely hit. That is how I would describe that as well. Uh, Team Lu's gonna come in on this stream tail who's gonna keep calm minding. No worries at all. I assume we're gonna be Whirlwind. We see D Gleam. Plus two. Oh my gosh. Ting Lu is a beast. Ting Lu is a beast. In comes Rotom Mo. Holy shit. Are you banded fucking Ting Lu? What the fuck is going on in this game? 
We'll say we'll say max HP Rotom. You know, no, we'll say we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. We'll say no defense Rotom. Heavy slam. Dude. Max attack adamant? No, you're banded tingling. Holy shit. That did so much damage. You're probably banded if based on this. 34, unless he's like max HP. No, you have to be. Holy shit. This game's full of surprises so far. We see a trick come out here, and we were we choice banned? We were choice banned, but now we're fast. We are zooming moose now. And we just do so much damage. My Ting Lu has been lifting. Your Ting Lu is has some has pump been pumping some iron. Uh in comes the Zoro Kasui. Might just claim another kill. We do scout the scarf, which I do agree with for sure. Uh Water Drop's gonna proc. We're gonna miss a steamer option, which sucks. We're actually faster. Are we potentially scarf? Steamer option's gonna come out. Maybe a burn? No burns? No burns? That miss definitely was unfortunate. In comes Palm out. We're going to Drain Punch now. Good Drain Punch on your opponent's part. Uh, we're going to double back into Hisui and Zoroark, who's going to claim a KO. In comes Urshifu again. We know we're faster. That's AV for sure. That's AV for sure. You don't kill with another one, but I think it is worth Shadow Balling again. Yep, just so you don't give potential Drain Punch HP for whatever reason. Volcanion, who I'm assuming is Scarf. I'm assuming this isn't just Slow Ting Lu. I'm assuming, or uh, Urshifu, I'm assuming this is potentially Scarf Volcanion. Uh, in comes Rotomo. We're going to switch out into Palmot, who actually, I didn't even know got both absorbed, by the way. <laughs> As we're going to see them go out again with another one. We go for the agility, and the game's over, I think. Oh my goodness. We are Double Dance Palmot. We play... Do... A gua no if you were just if you were just simply dual stabs there i think the game is over or if you were uh ice punch plus uh plus th electric move if you were bolt beam stab essentially i think you won there that's unfortunate i still think the game is over i still think Kaki wins there's a payback we have another choice band i'm not sure if that i agree with that uh that trick there we get a crit flinch no big ting lu is gonna claim at least one more volcanian's gonna come in do massive damage to the uh the dragapult U-turn's gonna kill it. I think I think the game is still over. Grimmsnarl comes out. Don't no. Oh my gosh, please. Does, can Meowskarana do it? Low kick. Down goes this Pokemon. Miss a fire blast. Knock off. So we are scarf Meowskar. So we are gonna pull that out. Holy. Imagine Team Lu taking damage, and that's also offensive Team Lu. That is a base bomb on. If we were just simply, I'm, I'm, like, I understand the player off. I'm sad. I am sad because I wanted to see that bomb out work. But no, that was that was some crazy tech. Turn one Hyper Beam. <laughs> I mean, it shows Grimstar on those. It turn one Hyper Beam was crazy to get rid of Big Man, so you didn't have to deal with hazards and a good game plan. I like the banded Team Lu. Double Dance bomb was really cool. Obviously, you couldn't have predicted the six that he brought. Uh, in hindsight, Ice Punch would have been better, but it is what it is. No, that, that was a, a well played game. I like the sets that you brought a whole lot that was really awesome cocky that was really and you gave me you gave me the pace like soon revolutionary and thought provoking build for you to look afterward okay let's see what we've got here i'm set to i gotta stay putting stab on yes uh so we have we were memento team too which could have came in clutch so yeah scarf volcanion and scarf miascarada obviously we saw both of those come into play we were specs wait Kaki. Kaki, what am I looking at with this Zoro? Guys. Kaki, what am I looking at? What is this? Kaki? 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 I'm not sure. What is the Zoro work that I'm looking at right now? Not only were you no special attack and O-Code the Overquill, you were also Specs Agility Substitute. Expecting a trick from the Rotom, potentially? Expecting a knockoff? What's going on? And then we were, we were Banded Grim. I'm actually shocked we were Banded No Sucker into the Dragapult. Um, but no, this is the main... This is the main thing that I got. I, I think this Spadef was... <laughs> You think this Spadef was four? You don't remember? I tweeted it last minute. Hey, man. Oh, my gosh. This is, um... <laughs> it worked, right? Like, it did what it was supposed to. Yo, you know what's crazy, too? If you were special attack investment, you might have been able to pick up that Rishifu with this. Yeah, we'll, uh... We'll let Kaki cook, because he won the game. 
I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I love Kaki so much. <laughs> Kaki, your games are my favorite to watch, for sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we'll, we'll now see, we have four games left. Oh no, we have a, a cow cup. We have three games left. This is a set of all time. It worked, man. It got a kill. I also, I want to see now, now that we know that you were a specs and no offenses, I got to see the, uh, the calc on the overgrown. You won the war for sure. If it wins, it's a good set. Exactly. I got to see the roll. Hyper beam. Oh no, you always killed if they were no spadef. If they were spadef, you never killed. But they obviously wouldn't have crunched you because they wouldn't have known what you were. They would have probably got a spike up. Yeah, I still think that was a, a, an interesting, uh, an interesting set of good play. If it wins it, Lanad moment for real. Who else DM'd me? Who dare? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I never faced over because I just clicked hyper because I saw red. <laughs> okay, he, this man said no big man. So this is uh, Wyachi versus Caffeinated Hog for Zapdos Div. I, I'm starting to learn everybody. It's, it's like a teacher, a new teacher. Whenever they get a new class, it's, I'm learning everybody's showdown names as time goes on and everybody's team. So we have a, a uh, Terra, Terra Flying and I don't remember the other type. Terra, Terra Flying something Tyranitar, Venomoth, Clodzire, uh, Corv Knight, Urshifu Rapid, and Gengar versus the Thundee T, the Dozy, Dragapult, Hatterink, Glamour, and Ursa Luna. So this team obviously deals with Ursa Luna. Have I already watched this? I feel like I've watched this. We'll watch it anyway. We'll watch it anyway. Uh, I feel like Ursula does really well once the Corb Knight goes down potentially. I feel like Dragapult also has a field dig if Cloudsire is dealt with. The combination of Cloudsire plus Corb Knight can definitely be annoying. Um, I'm actually very curious to see what the Glamora set is. We could be an offensive Glamora. Right? That would go actually insane in this game. And Thundee is going to do very well. I, I assume that's the Terra, but I actually don't know. Um, even a Swords Dance Ursula Luna could break through this Corb Knight. It's fire flying. Okay, thank you. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. So we'll hop in here. We see Tyranitar lead versus the Thundee. Uh, we see a switch out into the Cloud, which is a good switch for sure. I'm not sure if this is Terra or if it's Ursa Luna. I don't remember. We see Ur <laughs> we see Glamora come in with the Balloon, but unfortunately, we're going to get Rock Slid. I think I would assume that that's an offensive Glamora. Uh, Hattering comes in on the Urshifu double. Urshifu goes into Corviknight as we see maybe a double. No, we see a Draining Kiss from the Hattering. And we see a Rocky Helmet on the Corvo Knight. So we're actually doing some substantial damage to uh, Caffeinated Hog here. You turn on the Thunder. We're going to go into Venomoth. We see a Volt Switch. I'm, I assume we Quiver. Dozo should in uh, should mitigate this pretty handedly. Yeah, Dozo's going to take care of this Pokemon uh, pretty easily here. I assume we're not Giga Drain. We missed the Sleep Powder, which is definitely unfortunate. I don't think Venomoth would have broke through it, though. And it definitely could have even been Rest Talk. We're going to see Trailblaze come off from the Urshifu here. Uh, as we are rest talk, so it, it probably didn't even matter. Ultimately, I assume I assume we're, we see a sleep talk here. We do. So ultimately, I don't think it matters. Close combat's gonna come out. Oh my goodness, that killed! Holy shit! You ever see a Urshifu Rapid kill a Dondozo from seventy-two percent? Oh my goodness! Uh, Dozo's gonna go down. We are life for it for what it's worth. Iron Head. Does this Pokemon win if we get the flinch here? We don't get the flinch. This Pokemon is now paralyzed. Dozo never cares. You're in for a rude awakening in about five seconds whenever the stream catches up. Uh, Hatterin's gonna go down and now down goes Urshifu. In comes Glamora. Tyranitar might try to set up on this. Oh, we see a very good Toxic from uh, Caffeinated Hog, but we're gonna see Alum DD. Oh, we're gonna go for a second DD. I don't know if that was the play. I don't know if that was the play. I think, like, I understand. I understand. But I feel like we can't DD in that situation when the Toxic is very inevitable, right? Uh, we're gonna see an Earthquake come out. Down goes the Glamora. Uh, Ursula is gonna come out. We shouldn't kill this. This should never die in one. We're actually gonna be Rest Talk. Two Crunches kills this. Oh, we're Resto Chesto. Okay. That was a good play from uh, Caffeinated Hog for sure. Brick Break. Thunder Punch, now we're in range of one more. We should claim one kill with Crunch. We do claim one kill with Crunch. I think, I think, I actually am not sure who wins this. Cloudside kind of just walls both of these Pokemon, unless this is physical Dragapult, in which case Corviknight walls it. So we do see physical Dragapult. We're gonna do half the Cloudside, and we're gonna see a missed Rock Slide. Not sure how much that ultimately matters. Um, I'm, wow. 
I feel like in this situation, we should have definitely went Corviknight. I don't think Lives doesn't Wicked Blow do more. Well, it was Urshifu Rapid, so I'm sure Wicked Blow does more, but it quite simply wasn't Urshifu Single. It quite simply was not Urshifu Single, so that's a, a dumb thing to say, Star. Uh, but yeah, I'm shocked we didn't go Corv Knight. I actually think if we went Corv Knight, unless the double was called, the game was over. Because we just U-turned on this. I don't know. Maybe not. We just recover here. I, we're just asking to be crit. Now we're going to go Corv Knight. You're gonna see darts come out now. I feel like we we now go for a U-turn here. Oh, it's mixed. It's mixed Dragon Ball. That's a very good bring. We do U-turn. Are we Scarf Gengar? We might be Scarf Gengar. Pog! We see the Sucker Punch come out and just wipe that Gengar off the face of the planet. We might even be E-Belt based on that, which is a really cool set from a Caffeinated Hog. We get the Toxic on the Dragapult and uh, the game's unfortunately over. So good game. I really like the Sucker Punch from the Dragapult. Obviously helped with the Scarf... Uh, <laughs> and Scarf, sh shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, sh you shut up, Star. But yeah, I like the Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch was a really cool bring for the Gengar. And um, we have two games left. We have Flapple and Blue versus Apple Fritter. And I'm, I, I don't remember who Tom is. Who is Tom? Who is Tom? I don't remember. If anybody knows, let me know. We're, we're going to go for this game first because I'm actually very interested in seeing Flapple's game. Flapple and Blue's game. No, that was a very cool Dragon Ball. Very, very cool. Uh, by the way, guys, I I'm very curious as to how this keeps happening. We have... We have 12 watching now and 12 likes. Oh, never mind. I thought I thought we had less than 12 likes. If I nickel for every time Dragon Ball is you sucker punching against me and Mox in this league, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. I feel we for sure should have won that game on the cloud side. I feel like I feel like I agree. I feel like we could have. Um, I don't have it so pulled up. We could have toxic and then just infinitely recovered. I feel like the clouds I should have just won the game because I think that you know what you're right, Star. Because the misplay initially was they went for rock slide instead of toxic, which I don't think made a lot of sense. I feel like toxic was always the play you never miss. And you guarantee one if you just kept recovering. Um, and I guess you would have had to make a couple pivots, but you would have racked up toxic damage and eventually won the game. So I actually agree with you, Star. I actually agree with you. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do this game here. We see Hisui and Lilligant, Ice Q, shout out to Amul, Moltres, Azelf, Dragonite, and Reggie, Aleki versus Iron Bundle, Arcanine, Hisui, Obama Snow, uh, Meow Skirata. We see Palosand and Enamorous Therian. So wow, I don't know that I've ever seen such a good Iron Bundle matchup. As long as you're not a choice item and you're like booster speed to outspeed the Reggie Aleki, I think that math works out. Let's just double check. I am bundle, Reggie Lucky, uh, booster. Nope, uh, that's not right. Booster energy and then work drive. Uh, yes, you can definitely outspeed Reggie Lucky, assuming no scarf. This is the best bundle matchup I've ever seen in my entire life. As number one bundle hater, I've never seen a better bundle matchup. So we'll hop in here, we'll see what happens. We see Meow Skirata versus Azel. A big U turn breaking the ice face from Ice Q here. Um, as we see the Obama Snow, obviously scared to switch in the Moltres on the Power Gem, I definitely understand. I feel like Ice Cube still would have died to the Power Gem though. But we see Obama Snow come in as Ice Cube gets his face back. We're gonna see just a raw belly drum immediately as we see Leech Seed pop off here. And we're gonna go for Ice Spinner. What? Ice Cube. How bad of attack does regular- no, 80 attack. Why did that not do damage? Why did that forget to do damage? Why was there no damage dealt? No, why was there no damage dealt? I don't understand. I actually don't understand. Where was the damage? Are we no attack on Ice Cube maybe? That's the only thing that makes sense. I think we're no attack belly drum Ice Cube. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Wait, level 80? Wait, why are we level 86 Ice Cube? Wait, that is like... That is that's unfortunate. That's I think that's actually against the rules, but we'll let it slide. Uh, cause I, I'm I can only assume that was an accident. Yes, it is definitely against the rules, but that, those rules are set in place for level one sturdy endeavor fear strats, not even for level eighty six. I've never in my life 
seen a draft game with the Pokemon being level 86 in no format other than Ran Bats have I ever seen a level 86 Pokemon until this very day. It's against the rules as, as long as there was no deviation in the outcome, which it doesn't look like there was. Uh, it looks like it was actually a hindrance on Apple's side. Then we are not going to just like forfeit him. But that so the level strat is kept in place. So Pokemon can't be level 99 because you if you like have like a slow bro, slow king mirror matchup, you might be level 99 to get off slower chili receptions or something or before it was slow, slower teleports. Right. Uh, and it was also to prevent level one fear strats. Never have I seen I, I got to know the reasoning. He just caught it in the wild right before the game. Dude. So this stream we have seen I'm glad we kept these seven games for last. This stream, we have seen a choice specs, no special attack, agility substitute, Zoro Kasui, in a level 86 ice cube belly drum. I just, I, let's just rewind for a second. Let's just look at this damage. I gotta know how this happened. I have to ask Apple how this happened and if this was a mistake, because I cannot foresee that being on purpose. And we're head smash. Holy moly. We go down to recoil. I. Yeah, look, his other Pokemon, level 100, level 100, level 100. Yeah, what the what the fuck happened? I just, we'll continue like nothing happened. Uh, Palestine's going to come in. His suing Lil Lilligan is going to be very good here. Yeah, Victory Dance is going to come off. One more turn of Aurora Veil. So yeah, we do have to switch out. I'm shocked that Enamorous was it, or the Moltres wasn't the switch in there. Um, we're going to Roost, stalling out Snow, I guess. I, I feel like we should go Moltres on this, no? Yeah, we go Moltres. I'm not sure why we pivoted Dragonite to lose the multi-scale. I feel like that was a little bit unfortunate. Uh, Palestine's going to come back in. But uh, Sui and Lilligan, thankfully, still is broken and can win the game with a victory dance. And in fact, we're going to go into it now, which I think is a perfect opportunity to victory dance. Yeah, we're going to... Oh, we're just going to Leaf Blade. No, I feel like if we're victory dance, Leaf Blade, Ice Spin, or Close Combat, we victory danced there. And depending on the roles, we might have won. Obviously, I'm not sure how... Or I feel like maybe we should have ice spinnered. I'm not sure why we leap bladed. Leap blade, ice spinner. Maybe we don't have ice spinner. Ice spinner plus one to enamorous Urian. I mean, so we wouldn't have went for game there, but I feel like it would have been better to go for ice spinner for the damage, especially because it was still good against the Palo Sand. I think it would have killed a level 100. Dude, with head smash, I think I agree with you. Uh, we see Reggie Lucky come in here. As we see a Moonblast come out, I assume we're going to Rapid Spin. Try to get these rocks away. Oh no, we Ancient Power. I, there's a Palo Sand. Why would you Rapid Spin? That was that was silly of me to say. In comes Dragonite. We're not Boots. Oh, we're Leftovers. We're Leftovers. We get a free Roostop, I suppose. And then we're back to Multiscale. But in comes Enamors for free. You you have to go Moltres, right? Like, you just have to go Moltres. Ice Spinner. Hmm. I mean, I you still you have to go Moltres now. Azelf? No! He, he gave you a kiss! He's back at full HP now. Yeah, this, I, I just don't think this Enamorous gets broken this game. Reggie Alex is going to come back out. In comes Palisand. I, I think the game's over. Excuse me. I think the game's over with the combination of Palisand plus Enamorous. I actually think these two Pokemon on their own win the game. Well, or we can go Arcanine and get a free kill. That also works. In comes Dragonite. We just head smash again. Oh, we're Scarf. Oh, we're not Scarf. Oh, oh. Arcanine's faster than I thought it was for some reason. I thought it was slow. My mistake. Uh, Eastby's going to take out the Reggie Aleki, and then in comes the Lilligan. We're going to sack the Abomas note to guarantee win the game with Bundle. We didn't even have to use Bundle this game, which is crazy, because that Pokemon was crazy. I got to know. I got to know why we were level 86. I'm glad you guys pointed that out. I've never seen some shit like that, man. I've never seen a level 86 Ice Q. Yeah, I, I'm going to ping him in, in the, unless you guys already have. Why were you level 86 Ice Q? I feel like that would have been the perfect last game, but unfortunately, we are going to have one more game. Flapple versus Blue, because I'm very interested in seeing who wins this game. Um... I just, I don't know how to recover from that last game. I don't know how to recover from that last game. I just don't. 
I just don't. So we'll see a, a Roy Moon, a Vaporeon, a Sandy Shocks, an Iron Moth, a Gapdos, and a Goth Tell versus Slitherwing. <sighs> Walking Wake, Volcanion, Grimmsnarl, and Mimikyu. Um, Mimikyu looks like it does very, very well here. Oh my goodness. Mimikyu does very well. Um, without Amos Blessing, Ice Cube cannot re reach its full potential. Very true. Very true. Uh, what are you talking about, basketball? I am not sure what you're referring to, man. Uh, but we're going to see. Let's see. I mean, Blue, I think, just has a matchup. I like Grimmsnarl here a lot. I like Mimikyu a lot. Gothitelle can be annoying to trap certain things like Volcanion. Uh, Slitherwing obviously does really well. I think we're Terra Fairy and Dark? Or maybe Terra Fairy and Fire on Roaring Moon? Terra Fairy and something on Roaring Moon, right? Or no, no, that's Sandan. I'm not sure what Terra types we are on Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon can get very out of hand as well, though. Grimmsnarl needs to be kept in check. Um, if Grimmsnarl can be kept in check, then his setup sweepers may be able to win the game. So let's... uh. Excuse me, let's hop in here. We see Iron Moth and we see Wake Lead. Wow, we're gonna see a Draco do 47. Are we eject pack or are we specs? Oh, we're Life Orb, we're Life Orb, okay. We see the switch into Electrode, the Ice Beam call. I stupid Electrode, we're gonna see a Giga Drain come out. That might be specs based on that damage. No, it's not, we're gonna Volt Switch. I hate seeing Electrode succeed. We're gonna see a Psychic on the incoming walking Wake. Wake is going to pick up the kill on Gothitelle. Basketball clips. What what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> I'm very uh very lost with what you're uh, you're going on about. Um I'm surprised how popular Terra Slithering is in draft, kinda cool. Yeah, no, Slithering on its own, I like it a lot as a Pokemon. It is really cool to see it used as a Terra. And I agree, it's very weird to see it used so so much as a Terra captain. Uh, especially when I think, in my opinion, as much as I love Slithering, second favorite Pokemon, right? I think there are a lot of better options, but Terra Slithering can still get very much out of hand. Uh, bro, the Trode stays winning. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm rooting for Electro to Supermancy. Stop. We see Calm Mind Vaporeon. Tra Trailblaze Booster Attack Slitherwing? Oh, no. Unless we're Booster Iron Moth, the game's over. Or Booster... No, even if we're Booster Iron I think the game's over. Depending on what Terra type this Roaring Moon is. Oh, we Leech Life. Oh my goodness, the red card dragon dance. What? 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 We have to watch that. We have to watch that again. We have to watch that. We have to watch that again. Oh my goodness, the drag. The Oh, okay, Apple said he got the EV spread from a random battle and forgot to max out the level. Um, now this is crazy. This is insane. And the crazy dragon dance. Acro hard grim snarl. Unfortunately, I do think a switch is probably for us here. Because you don't want to get Thunder Wave. This, this, oh no, we don't switch. The, I think the game's over then. Yeah, and the para. And the p double para. Oh, we Dragon Dance again. Play rough? Acro, I think the game is over, unfortunately. Or like, uh, I think Roy Moon cannot win ever. Yeah. And I and we might be able to win with a Booster Iron Moth potentially now that Grimmsnarl is gone. But Volcanion makes that tough. Oh, Trailblaze. This dude Trailblaze on everything. Ha! Ah, that is an unfortunate miss. For sure. Doesn't quite die. Play Rough is going to take out this gap dose. We see the Iron Moth agility. Okay, if we get a Fiery Dance boost, this is possible. If we get a Fiery Dance boost, this is possible. Volcania should always wall. Yeah, it does. It, ooh, and Wild Charge. Very cool. What, what are we... What? What? No. No. No, what's happening? What's ha are we wish? What's happening? Are we rest? What's going on? Oh my gosh, they did no damage. Down goes Vaporeon. What is happening? What is going on? 
what happened? Dude, these last couple games... You guys must be just trying to get reactions out of me. Because these last couple games... I'm so glad that the stream was able to work. Because these, these games were absolutely worth all of the turmoil that I had to endure. Huh? Trode still wins? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I could have. I, I was assuming that we were going to start calm minding as well. Maybe rest talk. There was never a set that won. If he was wish protect, he wouldn't have had an attacking move, unfortunately. No, that was crazy, though. Basketball, I think, I think your messages are getting blocked because I'm pretty sure you are promoting yourself in my chat. There is the only thing that you keep saying is you keep saying your channel name. And I'm pretty sure that, that the, you like are linking something or something because it keeps just getting blocked. There is like no, there's no messages that are like coming through except you saying the channel name and then button. Uh, last few games, so much chaotic energy. The streams couldn't handle it. Exactly. Exactly. So that is going to be it for the draft games today guys i think let me just double check really quick we had some really really good ones we had some really really good ones um we had like uh, let me let me just before we go i just want to bring up one more thing yeah i just want to bring up one more thing before we end stream yeah Look at this. Uh, we have the specs Zoro or Kasui. Help me. <laughs> Somebody help Gaki, please. This man is cooking up some wild stuff. You're okay, basketball. You're okay, man. Uh, so we're actually we're gonna try something new for the end of this stream. My channel manager Dustarfish has recommended this, so we're gonna try it and see what goes on. We are going to try raiding somebody. Uh, before you do that, though, be sure to leave a like if you haven't already. It helps push out the stream severely. And we're going to go ahead and raid. Give me one second. The stream's almost over. We're gonna go ahead and raid. Stars giving me a, a guy to raid. Drunk cocky cooks up some devious sets beyond your comprehension. We might just simply have to get a drunk cocky emote. Uh, Star gave me three people to raid. Let's see. Who do you... Star gave me people to raid, but didn't tell me which one he thinks I should raid. Jerrica, pick one of these three. This one's a bigger streamer, and the other two are smaller. Pick someone for us to raid. To send all of our viewers to. Oh, here's a, he's doing Minecraft for this one, and then this one is doing a Nuzlocke. You like them? The Nuzlocke, Pokemon Black. Is that why? Mm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna raid somebody here, guys. So everybody, go ahead. I want everybody to get the message. John Junior raid ready, and we're gonna go ahead and stream this person. So go ahead and go in there and start spamming John Junior raid. And uh, we will go ahead and end the stream. So thank you guys so much for coming by. I really do appreciate it. We will be back again on Monday in order to uh, to go ahead and do the JJDL of this current week that we are on. Uh, but go ahead and go over there and say John Jr. Raid. And we will end the stream. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys 